I know, it's been a while, but I'm back. I've been preoccupied to say the least. There seems to be a new wave on the internet. There was crypto, NFTs, now it seems to be AI. If you've been on the internet in 2023 through 2024, then you've definitely seen the rise of AI. But if you don't know what AI is, now there's multiple types of AI. The one we're talking about right now, AI art. Oh fuck, shit, the wrong one, my bad. AI art. AI art is simply artwork made from assistance of generative AI. It's technology that finds patterns in big- I got this on Google. It's a lot of mumbo jumbo words. If you have no idea what the fuck it means, basically they use images on the internet, collect them, learn from them, whether it's the styles of arts, line weight, anatomy, painting, all that good shit. So whenever you write a prompt for the AI, it can randomize an image that fits the prompt. Basically, an overpowered Siri. God, a lot of fucking AI nerds are gonna hate me for that one. The reason for this video is me coming across an AI mod about two months ago. I'm not gonna say the name because it really doesn't matter. And to be very frank with you, what really stands out for this manhwa is the very bright and pastel colors. Each panel doesn't look like your normal manhwa strip. It looks more like its own composition. In usual comics, one panel will be drawn that leads to the next panel. This is how comics tell the story. In making a story, you need panels that can correlate with each other for a smooth reading experience. When you're reading a manhwa and you swipe vertically and it leads to the next panel, next panel, next panel, seamlessly, that's a good comic. This comic is basically not that at all. To the point that when characters interact with each other, they don't even fucking have the same background setting one person will have a background of a house of maybe british descent and them interacting with another person that's in the fucking jungle i don't think it's even the same fucking continent it's distracting as fuck the best example i can give is if you're watching a video about airplanes and halfway through the video switches and starts showing generators for sale and then goes back to the airplane the story itself tries to correlate together but it does a really shitty job at doing that <sighs> also it really doesn't help that the story's kind of mid but Honestly, now I'm thinking about it, I wouldn't be surprised if the story itself is made entirely of AI. Chat GPT. Nothing about the story is original. There are some characters in certain panels that are crazy good for art terms, but when you really look at it, their arms, their hands, or their hair, for the lack of a better term, is well fucked. One panel can look this way, and the next panel can look a totally different way. It seems like every panel of the MC is like a Jin Woo inspired character, but it's different in every panel. Like, I'm gonna show you all these different images. They're all the same MC, just different panels. They all look slightly different but all go back to a base model of Jin Woo. It's honestly amazing. I find this fucking hilarious. It looks like a blatant ripoff of every manhwa that's came out in the past five years, which to be fair seems to be like most manhwa now, but that's besides the point. The main point is how easy AI could have fooled me if I wasn't such a fucking degenerate weep that read every single day. Like it's literally an everyday thing, I need help. I'm pretty caught up on the trends and art styles of most manhwa, so I know when something is different or there's just something off about a manhwa. I have my own fucking AI in my head Okay, I can use my fucking brain to sniff out bullshit. I could easily see someone being fooled by this if they don't have that experience. Although it being AI art, it's really fucking good. Like some of these panels just alone is fucking perfection. If AI could fix some minor mistakes and was able to keep the same art style for every panel, you would never even knew AI drew this. I mean, this is just like beta AI. Imagine a really good fucking AI for $9.99. A month. If you pick special panels out of this manhwa and said, hey, this is from Solo Leveling or Her Summon or any other manhwa that has really good art and has its own art style, I could believe that because AI literally copies art styles. But all that being said, I don't know how I feel about it. I can't tell if it's frustrating or exciting. Frustrating from an artistic standpoint of illustrators where the whole manhwa community is basically competing with each other and have to worry about AI replacing their jobs if it gets up to snuff which unfortunately, it's only a matter of time. It's not if, it's definitely when. Or exciting from a consumerism perspective. Art is no longer behind a paywall or a lack of knowledge. Chapters of manhwa can come out faster. Each chapter could have more panels. We can recreate styles of people who aren't even here no more. I see 
both sides in a way, but I don't like both outcomes. I've seen many discussions online about banning AI outright, which I feel like is a little overkill. It's a new technology and like every new technology, we need to learn as a human species to control and regulate it. When humans first discover how to morph metal into their own objects, we made weapons. We can't even control the fucking internet and fully regulate it to the modern day standards. Some of these AI programs are blatantly ripping off other artists who have copyright material. Because the AI is pulling images from the internet and reconstructing them, you can make the argument that even if it is a new image, it still has qualities of copyright material. Which isn't really fair for people who get their image stolen from the AI. They can't get sit to it being on a data pool. They're not getting a cut from the money it makes. You can make an argument it's the internet, so, so anything on there should be able to be used. And honestly, maybe from a legality standpoint, but morally, I don't know. A lot of people who don't have any dreams of being an artist, they won't have the same empathy as somebody who wants to be an artist. And that's very understandable. AI would never be able to take over porn was. Never. Anyway, I'm not going to say everybody who uses AI is horrible and bad and should go to jail. It's very exciting and fun to have a new technology to use, but I know a lot of people who don't care. Don't really seem to have a lot of empathy for other human beings. I have friends who are artists. I have other friends who like AI. One of my friends was having a discussion about how AI could bring back Berserk, well at least his art style, and finish the series of Berserk which has been on haters for years and on and off. And the same with Hunter Hunter and any other manhwa or manga that hasn't finished. Should even fucking animate. Now I'm thinking about it, they could make fucking anime panels faster. But what really scares me is if it can get there, why wouldn't companies just take out the middleman who they have to pay weekly and just hire one person to make AI content? You're expecting these companies to have virtue, which they're definitely not going to have. I think these AI tools can be really good in the right hands and also hurt a lot of people in the wrong hands. I'm not going to say it's going to ruin the whole fucking world because I don't think it will. It probably hurt a lot of creative jobs. But plumbers, welders, electricians, basically any trade job or any labor job, I don't see going out anytime soon or at all. Hopefully. Because if it does go for their jobs, then we really are fucked as a species. But I don't fucking know. She's shaking that booty and dripping with sweat. Coconut booty oil makes her big butt wet. She's super bad, so I'm looking for some trouble. Booty looking like a big round wet bubble. Baby got back, baby got a big round, but I wanna smack. Baby got oil dripping down her booty crack. <laughs>